Hey, what up, boys? Ah, what a glorious victory this month's livestream was. Seeing the kids who wanted action combat get screwed in the ass was a glorious orgasm I will not be forgetting for a very long time. The amount of tears and doomsaying since the last livestream has absolutely thrown the game's public perception into a frenzy, sparking hate thread after hate thread and, you know, watching the carnage from my ivory tower as my minions slaughter each other discussing action combat versus tab targeting has been glorious. But today is the day we end this great debate, and I have finally come to a consensus that will silence this topic forever. Or until the next kid, salty about New World, decides to cry some more on the forums. But before we get into that, our patrons and I would love for you to grab yourself a Cooper Cola, because I believe, and have always said, Action combat does not work in an MMORPG, and New World's iteration in particular was terrible in every instance of its implication. However, as many of the current MMORPG players, or more accurately described as Amazon shields, only really know New World and Lost Ark's terrible disconnected combat styles, it's understandable that they don't quite gel with what was shown in this month's livestream. This is pretty obvious considering the sheer amount of misconceptions being thrown around about it, so today we're gonna talk about this and put a few things straight. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin! So this discussion has been going on for years, it feels like, and I'm not even joking. As far back as 2019 when APOC was released, the Ashes of Creation community have been discussing action combat versus tab targeting. These debates would be focused around global cooldown based abilities versus animation based ones, free flowing movement versus root motion, skill shots versus tab targeting abilities, and over the years Intrepid certainly experimented with a plethora of these constantly reworking their combat. This led to Apocalypse being labelled as a complete waste of time for this MMORPG's development, and as it stands today, here in 2022, post-combat reveal, I still stand by this statement. APOC, in my opinion, was a complete waste of time, not only from a combat perspective, but also in damaging this highly anticipated MMORPG's reputation. Steven doesn't shy away from a good battle royale, after all, he's been known to enjoy Fortnite quite a bit. In fact, if I recall, he's level... 219. No, surely has nothing to do with APOC being a battle royale, uh, right? Luckily though, back in 2019, I didn't even know Ashes of Creation existed, so I can't even begin to relate to the grief people felt when this Kickstarter announced they were double dipping into a battle royale. A literal Fortnite clone with a shallow fantasy coloured coat of paint is the furthest thing imaginable from what Intrepid were originally offering with Ashes of Creation's Kickstarter. Brain dead Zuma kids playing Fortnite and depressed middle aged dads still clinging on to World of Warcraft don't tend to share the same kind of design preferences. Which leads us on to the main argument here. I tend to think people who play and enjoy New World with its terrible combat iteration are completely uninformed zoomers who don't know no better. I very much fall within the arrogant boomer category and preach that the good old days will always be the best. Oh, you kids nowadays and your uneducated opinions about FPS and action combat. I should teach you all a lesson about the good old days of teamwork, not your single player focused trash. Come back to me when you whippersnappers have the pre nerfed insane in the membrane title from World of Warcraft. But to really push the point here, it's important to discuss why action combat simply isn't suitable or viable in an MMORPG by comparing New World Combat with another action MMORPG that, despite its claims to be the best iteration of this, still fails miserably as an MMO. 
So the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is obviously an extremely important part of any game to stop it from being boring. Black Desert Online is probably the MMO that does the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay the best, and even though it does have a very twitchy Korean combat style, not indicative of your average Western MMO, I still think it is far better than most. As it stands, New World is the only notable Western MMO that attempts action combat, but to me, nearly every single aspect of New World's implementation is a complete failure. When you compare their combat style, which attempts to be slow, deliberate, and borderline glitchy, to a game like Black Desert Online, which is fast-paced, highly skill-focused, and impactful, it's pretty obvious how poorly implemented New World's combat actually is. After all, the game barely holds on to 5% of its original player base, and a BDO is still thriving today, with around 200,000 players across all platforms. And if you're curious where I pulled these numbers from, well, I just made it the fuck up. However, it's important to recognize the differences in the gameplay to break down action combat and why it simply doesn't work in not only New World, but for an MMORPG in general. Black Desert has gameplay that is a high-paced, AoE-focused, never-ending grind rotation against packs of 10 mobs at a time. You dart around like a Super Saiyan and blow shit up, dopamine out the wazoo. It is quite literally the only MMO in the current year that doesn't make grinding the same location for 8 hours straight boring, and that's thanks to its free-flowing action combat style. It complements everything that action combat players actually want. But New World, it, it just has none of this. The mobs are borderline brain dead, they're no threat whatsoever, they're sparse and have zero diversity or mechanics. But more importantly, the damage and healing systems feel weak and unimpactful compared to BDO, and it's just all around poorly executed as a system. Additionally, the FPS style for ranged combat just, it just doesn't work, guys. You know you're getting old when you're being criticized for being bad at aiming in an MMORPG? Left click spamming a boss with only three abilities is not skilled combat. It is not fun. It is just boring. That's without the problems that occur from the networking side of MMOs involving ping and fast-paced one versus one and mass PvP. But hey, if you genuinely enjoy New World's combat, that's okay. But your standards are in embarrassing, and I genuinely feel sorry for you. But I digress. This segment was supposed to be about breaking down why action combat doesn't work, not brutally ass-fucking the New World Andes and putting them in their place. But then again, being Amazon shills, I suppose they're used to it. But why doesn't action combat work in an MMORPG? Well, MMOs by definition are massively multiplayer online role-playing games. The massively and the multiplayer are the two key factors that define this genre. Without the massively or multiplayer, it just becomes another single-player game masked with the illusion of many players around you. Something all of our currently popular, uh, MMOs suffer from today. The reason why action combat doesn't work is because when you can sidestep attacks at a whim simply by pressing left on the keyboard, you lose a lot of what makes MMORPGs appealing. You lose the point of your armor stat because technically, by playing correctly, you can quite literally avoid 100% of incoming damage. This is how New World was for me as I was leveling, and it's exactly how BDO is as well. You simply cannot avoid this problem with an action style targeting system. It is baked into the core mechanics. In my opinion, this is awful for creating a challenging open world game that is supposed to be focused on teamwork and synergy. You know, the thing that makes MMOs appealing in the first place? Uh, but what are we? Nine minutes in and I've hardly spoken about Ashes of Creation so far. How's that for next level stalling? Daddy needs his ad revenue after all these costumes don't buy themselves guys. So let's talk about the combat direction Intrepid chose to go with, as the whole point of this video is to gaslight you into thinking they did actually make the right choice. 
So for combat in an MMORPG to work, you need to nail two key factors. The waterfall stats you obtain from gear need to have meaning. Without these, you end up with laughable, trivialized PvE content that cannot be balanced correctly with gear. For example, in both Black Desert Online and New World, to be optimal in PvE, I would not sink any of my economy into armor stats simply because you can avoid the action combat AI just by playing well. Simply moving out of the way of attacks or actively blocking at the right time genuinely waters down the progression of your gear significantly. This is where tab targeting games are different and why they work. Mobs lock onto you and you simply cannot sidestep their attacks with a single press of a button. Armor and defense have value and must be considered as you progress, allowing us as players to make interesting and diverse stat choices as we craft, loot, and earn new gear. The next important factor to consider that action combat falls short on and is displayed in again Black Desert Online, New World, and even Guild Wars 2 is the synergies between roles. This means a traditional tank, a traditional healer, and the traditional DPS classes. When these roles are clearly defined, encounters can be designed in a way that complements MMORPG teamwork-based gameplay. When Guild Wars 2 first released, they were adamant they didn't need a trinity, and as much as I respect this bold attempt to break the formula, let's be honest, it didn't work. Their encounter design was chaotic, unstructured, and was just flat out dog shit. ArenaNet acknowledged this in their first expansion as they brought back that soft trinity that's required to make raid bosses actually challenging. Additionally, Black Desert Online has almost zero group-based gameplay. Kind of ironic for a game that's supposed to be multiplayer, but it's PvE encounters, the general gameplay loop, it's just a grind packs of one-shottable mobs forever and never actually take any damage. They supplement this boring gameplay with actual fast-paced, interesting class design. Something New World lacks, by the way. However, in my opinion, BDO can hardly be called an MMORPG anyway. It's more of a single-player game with the occasional pleb who presents the illusion of a massively multiplayer world. This is why Intrepid's decision to go with a tab-based ranged combat style is the correct one. But here's the crux of it. It is not tab targeting. You all preach how you think tab target combat is outdated and redundant in the current year, and yes, I tend to agree that it is an archaic combat style that was designed to patch the limitations of gaming back in the year 2000. Combat does need to evolve beyond what World of Warcraft offers. And that is exactly what Intrepid have done, because it isn't tab targeting guys, it's hybrid combat. The very thing ArenaNet started back in 2014 perfected by Intrepid here in 2022. They've taken Guild Wars 2's evolution of tab targeting that loosens up the limitations without removing any of the basic mechanics we've explained previously. You don't need a target to fire arrows in Ashes of Creation. You can free fire them just like you can in New World. You can hide from fire using line of sight. These arrows don't ignore physics and phase through wars just like they don't in New World. Arrows don't lock onto you and change direction mid-air to follow a target, they are still projectiles and can still miss if you perform a dodge at the right time. Again, just like New World. Ashes of Creation is still giving you what you want, people. If you think hybrid combat isn't highly skill-based, then I think you fundamentally misunderstand, and I'd keep your baseless criticisms to yourself until you get your hands on it in Alpha 2. But as usual, I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO, and my opinions mean nothing without yours in the comments below. And hey, apologies for the videos slowing down recently. I've been dealing with a lot of, uh, real life stuff. But with the AMA approaching soon, aka free ad revenue for me, I want to encourage anyone watching to head over to the Reddit and post questions you have related to Ashes of Creation. The link for that is in the description below, and I'm excited to read all of your brain-dead questions that Stephen will answer on the 14th. But Nark, of course I agree with you. Action combat does suck, but this hybrid crap is just as bad. Use tab and be done with it. 
And to that I say, listen kid, I just spent the last 10 minutes explaining why hybrid is clearly the correct choice. And if your boomer ass can't comprehend that, then you're high on copium.